This year, Rochester's iconic Hickey Freeman turns 120 years old, and they couldn't have celebrated in a better way. They're adding new jobs to take them into the future. Josh Navarro was there and has his story for us. I'm happy, so happy today. Good news, everything. Savinch has been working at Hickey Freeman for over 15 years. She, like many of the workers here, learned the tailoring company is launching an $8 million recapitalization that will allow the company to expand, employees keep their jobs while adding 80 new ones, and not to mention getting creative. And we're going to go after the contemporary custom clothing market with a fierceness you've never seen before. And one of those new jobs is that they're going to start making dress shirts here locally starting this summer. That'll create 20 new jobs for the project. Local leaders praised the dedication from employees whose makeup at Hickey Freeman are from all over the world. People coming from all over the world for a better life, to build an economic future in a factory, making things in America. This is America's story. And this should be America's future, and you're setting the model for it. Savinch, who is Turkish, couldn't agree more. I like it here. Work it. In Rochester, I'm Josh Navarro, News 8. The good news comes as Gronofsky says the company was facing closing down as the federal government proposed making large cuts to the World Trust Fund. Gronofsky credits Senator Chuck Schumer's efforts to prevent the cuts to that fund.